Peace and greetings to you. This is Omar Abdulmalik, the Physician Assistant Professional. I'm going to do this next set of videos about making it through PA school. My first set of video was what is a physician assistant? Second set I did how to get into PA school. Now I'm going to do making it through PA school. Now, by this time, most PA's programs are getting ready to start um, the fall semester. So the fall semester usually starts around late August, like August 24th, I believe. So those of you all who applied to PA school, you've either gotten rejection notices or you've gotten acceptance letters. So this is my keepsake here. This is from Howard University. I don't know if you can see this. This is uh, says March 20th, 1998. Dear Omar Abdul Malik, I am pleased to inform you that the admissions committee of the Physician Assistant Department has recommended you for admission to the fall 90, 1998 class. The committee congratulates you and wishes you much success in the months and years ahead. So I was very excited to get this, I oh got I think it was 17 years ago now. Um, so congratulations if you've gotten in. What you want to do is make it through. So I have something, some things here which I hope will help you. Again, getting through PA school part one. So I, I liked the the uh, paradigm I did with the P's in uh, the interview process. So I'm going to stick with the P's since it's PA school. So I've got a set of positive P's. So you'll see here my positive P's to getting through PA school. So prayer, partners, planning, prioritizing, passion, patience, positive peace. So I say prayer, I put that as number one because I, I got to tell you, I prayed a lot. I prayed before PA school, during PA school, and after PA school. And I still pray. I thank God Almighty. I say Allah, Alhamdulillah, that I got into the PA program and got through it because it was, it was truly a miracle with me getting through it. So, you know, I, I, would, I would say that uh, you've got to be vigilant, vigilant with that. Um, that that's, that's my particular preference. Partners, these, this can be your spouse, your children, your friends, you know, whatever significant others um, feel that they have a claim on your time. You know, you've got to let them know that, hey, look, you know, this is physician assistant school. I really need to study hard. I can't hang out like I used to. Maybe you can't spend as much time with that significant other that you used to. You know, long walks in the park, making dinner, making breakfast, whatever. You know, you're going to be so focused. PA school is not what I would call a marathon, and I run marathons, so I know what I'm talking about. PA school is more like a 10 kilometer race. So you can't slow down at all. You can't sprint because you'll burn out of energy. You'll run out of energy. But on the same time, you can't slow down. You've got to have a steady, fairly quick pace. So you need to have a very significant, uh, very heart-to-heart -heart talk with um, your partners. Planning. You've got to be a meticulous planner. You've got to prioritize your time. I'm going to show you this. People used to laugh at me because I would walk around with a stopwatch. And I would time how long it would take me to do certain things. So, laundry. It takes about an hour to do your laundry. To take your dirty laundry to, you know, the, the laundry machine place. Or, you know, if you're in a condo, you still have to, you know, wash it, dry it, fold it up. It's about an hour. Shopping. That's a another time-consuming activity. Do you know how much study you can get done in a two to three hour period? Tons of time. You got to do this. You know, here's, here's what I would suggest you do. Make a list. I hope you can see this. Number the list of the number of items that you have for, for your activities of daily living. Put the time that it takes to do them. If you go to bed at 10 o'clock, you get up at 5 a.m. Try to get up early because you can get a lot of good studying done early in the morning. Okay? So and then you've got your activity. Then you have, okay, how much time did you spend sleeping? Six to eight hours maybe? So a third or a fourth of your day is already gone by the time you wake up. Then after that, 
just exercise. You know, don't let your your um, you know keep an exercise regimen. It'll help you with stress. You know, you be, you need to be physically fit to get through PA school because you're going to be running um, up and down the hallway in the in some hospital. You need you know you need endurance. Spend about 10 minutes exercising. That's only 600 seconds. What else do I have here? Basic hygiene stuff. So, you know, brushing your teeth, washing up, putting your clothes on, doing your hair. Ladies, please don't spend a bunch of time putting on makeup. Your, your, your hairstyle for the next three years of PA school, <laughs> ponytail. You know, or guys, you, know, you can do like I do, just shave everything off, you know, so you don't have to worry about your hair, or you could do mousse or something, something simple. You don't want to take a lot of time um, doing things that aren't absolutely necessary. Breakfast, how long do you take to eat? If you're a parent and you've got to prepare breakfast for your children, you, know, you need to figure out how you're going to minimize that time. Maybe the kids have to have a box of cereal and milk to feed themselves. Commuting, we take tremendous amounts of time commuting. Okay, and I use cards because, you, you know, these are very valuable tools. You have three by five cards, or I think these are five by seven. You could take the information that you have in your books and your chapters and your lecture notes and put them on cards. So that way, or, you know, on your PDF or your, your iPhones or whatever, that way you always have your study notes at hand. You need to be in a constant state of studying. You know, when you get to class, you know, make a schedule of your class schedule. Now, one of the things that I tell people about, you know, planning, you know, hopefully the your program will give you your books and your syllabi early before you start the program. So you'll know what to study. You know, you don't have to start studying hardcore right now, but at least familiarize yourself with the classes that you're going to be taking. Patience, you got to have patience because the information is going to be coming at you very quickly, you're not going to be able to absorb all of it. Negative P's, procrastination. I can guarantee you, you will flunk out of PA school if you procrastinate. You cannot procrastinate. You can't get all that information in your head, you know, wait till the last night before the exam to really buckle down and study. It's not going to work. Partying. You know, there's this horrible movie on years ago in my opinion, it was horrible, called Animal House. And it showed the kids, you know, they're John Belushi. They're dr getting drunk, doing all this crazy stuff. You will flunk out of PA if you party <laughs> like that. It, you just, you can't do it. You got to be, your medical career starts the moment you become a PA student, period. And you got to take it seriously. Personal lives, that goes back to your, par your uh, partners. Don't let your personal life spill into your studies and into the classroom. I know people who are very sick somewhere in the, on the verge of divorce. You can't let that affect your studies because it affects the dynamic of the entire class. You know, and people really, you know, they'll sympathize with you to a point, but you, you, you really have to discipline yourself emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, physically. You can do it, but it's going to take a lot of discipline. That's a D. That's not a. That's not a P. But try to be persistent. I wish you all the best of, of uh, success. Those of you all that have gotten into PA school, please subscribe to my site. I will be doing. Hopefully, I'll be doing a video. If not every day, then at least three days a week. I look forward to answering you all's questions and sharing your experiences with you. Peace. Take care.